everyone welcome to root to mathematics in this video we are going to solve this interesting question so the question is what is the solution to the equation a plus b plus c equals to a b c if a b c are three consecutive integers so here we have given a b c are three consecutive integers and we are asked to find the solution of a b c so without any delay let's start the solution so we have given a plus b plus c equals to a b c let's take it as equation 1 so as in the question it is given that a b c are three consecutive integer so now let's take a equals to n where n is an integer so as in the question it is given that a b c are three consecutive integer this means b must be equals to n plus 1 and c must be equals to n plus 2. Okay. Now, let us just substitute the value of a, b, c in equation 1. So, by substituting, we have n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 equals to n multiplied with n plus 1 multiplied with n plus 2. So, this implies this. Here, we have 3n plus 3 equals to n multiplied with n plus 1 multiplied with n plus 2. Okay. So, this implies this. Let us just take 3 common here. So, we have 3 multiplied with n plus 1 equals to n multiplied with n plus 1 multiplied with n plus 2. Now, taking all the term to the one side, we have n multiplied with n plus 1 multiplied with n plus 2 minus 3 multiplied with n plus 1 equals to 0. This implies this. Let us take n plus 1 common. So, we have n plus 1 multiplied with n multiplied with n plus 2 minus 3 equals to 0. So, this implies this n plus 1. Here we have n square plus 2n minus 3 equals to 0. This implies this. Now, multiplying each term, we have n cube plus 2n square minus 3n plus n square plus 2n minus 3 equals to 0. So, this implies this n cube. Here we have plus 2n square, n square get added. So, we have plus 3n square minus 3n plus 2n becomes minus n minus 3 equals to 0. This implies this. Let us just take n square common from this two term. So, we have n square multiplied with n plus 3 and we will take minus 1 common from this two term. So, we have minus 1 multiplied with n plus 3 equals to 0. This implies this. We have n plus 3 multiplied with n square minus 1 equals to 0. So, we know an algebraic identity of a square minus b square can be written as a plus b multiplied with a minus b. Okay. So, now considering a as n and b as 1, we can write n plus 3 multiplied with n plus 1 multiplied with n minus 1 equals to 0. So, from here we can write n plus 3 equals to 0 n plus 1 equals to 0 and n minus 1 equals to 0. So, this implies this n equals to minus 3 and here we have n equals to minus 1 and here we have n equals to 1. So, here we are getting 3 values of n. Let us find the ABC for each value of n. So, for n equals to minus 3, we know that ABC C equals to n, n plus 1, n plus 2. Okay. So, this equals to, we have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 is one of the solution. Now, for n equals to 1, we have a, b, c equals to 1, 2, 3. Similarly, for n equals to minus 1, we have a, b, c equals to 
माइनस वन जीरो एंड वन दस ए बी सी इक्वल्स टू वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री एंड माइनस वन कॉमा जीरो कॉमा वन एंड माइनस थ्री कॉमा माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस वन इज आवर आंसर आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द सोल्यूशन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक द बेलाइकन फॉर मोर सच इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज थैंक यू